Genetic analyses play a key role in the realm of life sciences. Every nook and cranny of our DNA can be accessed, thanks to recent developments in this field. Gene analysis technologies are widely used in basic and clinical research, in the pharmaceutical and food processing industries, as well as in forensic applications. The state-of-the-art equipment required to work in this field is expensive and complex. This prompted the creation of a specialized platform by the National Center of Competence in Research, Frontiers in Genetics, in Geneva in 2001. Donc la plateforme génomique est un laboratoire équipé des instruments. The genomics platform is a laboratory harboring the newest and most efficient equipment managed by a team of highly motivated and competent scientists. This allows us to provide a high quality service in genomics to both academia and private laboratories. To illustrate the applications of these technologies, here are the results of a recent experiment we have performed. We wanted to determine the genetic profile of cancer cells to better understand the mechanisms of their uncontrolled cell division. The first step was to identify the genes expressed in a different way between normal and cancer cells of the same tissue. RNA from both samples were extracted and sequenced. This very powerful apparatus processes samples extremely fast and allows us to read millions of molecules concurrently. Each line represents a single gene whose level of expression is indicated here for normal cells and here for cancer cells. A line that goes upward towards the right corresponds to a gene that is strongly expressed in cancer cells. A downward line indicates the opposite. We used these results for the second part of the experiment. First, we created a list of the most interesting candidate genes. We then quantified their expression in a more precise way and in a large number of samples. The robot we use to purify the samples is here. I'm going to put the samples, the plate with the reagents for the purification, and the plastic cartridge inside the robot. This is the slide on which the probes and the RNA are attached. It represents the key of the nanostring technology. To perform this experiment, we have exploited a very recent and unique technology, nanostring. The only Swiss university equipped with this instrument is in Geneva. The robot is now loaded, so we are going to switch it on to proceed to the purification step. The robot will purify the samples through several washing cycles. This step lasts about two and a half hours. This instrument uses fluorescent barcodes to specifically identify each messenger RNA present in the sample and to obtain their very precise quantification. This approach significantly simplifies our research and guarantees high quality and reproducible results. Once the purification step is over, I recover the slide in order to begin the image analysis by the scanner. I remove the slide, I place it inside the scanner, which will take the pictures of the slide. This will lead to a table that provides the information about gene expression. Et nous donner l'information sur l'expression des gènes. We can now see how simple and elegant this technique is. The messenger RNAs bound to their probe are simply identified by the scanner, which counts the RNA molecules by visualizing the barcodes. Here are the different patterns. Each one corresponds to a different gene. This table shows the number of counts for each RNA strand, thus the level of expression of each gene. This analysis allowed us to discover the range of genes involved in cell division. 
Ce qui est exceptionnel avec la technologie. The main and unique feature of nanostring is the possibility of measuring up to 800 genes in a single experiment with a great level of accuracy and very limited handling. Très limité de manipulation technique. The field of application of the technologies set up in the platform is very wide. It includes, for example, the study of architect genes during embryonic development, the regulation of glucose metabolism in diabetes, the characterization of cattle to improve dairy farming, or even forensic analysis on crime scenes.